Hello and good morning guys, welcome to this week's vlog. I hope you're all doing really well. So it's currently 9.30 on a Tuesday and I've got a really nice morning organised this morning. So morning, morning, how many times have I said morning in this intro? I'm just about to head into central London and I'm going to do a little bit of luxury window shopping. I don't want to say shopping, I'm going to say window shopping. First up is Chopard, really excitingly. Um, I've kind of connected with the girls who work at the PR there and they're just so, so lovely. So um, they very kindly agreed to show me around their store as it sounds incredible. Yeah, that'll be really nice. And then I'm going to pop into Chanel, pop into Chanel, that sounds so flippant. But I can just hear the bunnies running around. Come here. Bunnies. Come here. Whenever they're quiet, I'm really... Paranoid. I'm like, what are you doing to be so quiet? Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Chanel. So they are increasing their prices tomorrow, I believe, first of July. So I do want to just pop in, have a little look. There's a bag that I've been wanting it for so long, and I've been saving for it. And if they have it, I kind of think it's going to be fate, and maybe I should buy it. And then if they don't, it wasn't meant for me. But I am really tempted just to get one. But before they do increase the prices, it's kind of like you're saving money. Um, that's my rationale behind it, even though it's definitely not right. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna pop on the tube now, just finish off my makeup a little bit, put some powder on, because I am looking rather dewy and shiny. Um, I'm also might just sort out my hair. I haven't done anything to it today, and it looks a little bit kind of, I don't know, fluffy. So quick outfit of the day, I've just left the flat. Blazer is Everlane, bodysuit Zara, trousers Zara, shoes YSL, bag Chanel. Okay, so I'm just in Chopard. I'm just having a little look at everything, getting a bit of a tour. Look at this amethyst table. How incredible is this? Um, hopefully it's gonna give me some good energy. And then they're just showing me all the bits, like this piece here was a collaboration with Rihanna, um, like inspired from her Barbados roots, and it's just incredible. Like there's so many diamonds, and um, yeah, it's quite overwhelming really. Um, but I'm just on the store on Bond Street. So as you can see, we've got a Bulgari over there. And then there's, you can't really see, but Givenchy on the corner. The decor in here is just incredible. Um, so yeah, if you're ever like around Bond Street area, or around Mayfair, and then definitely pop in just to even to see, like have a little look around. Um, because it's almost like a museum. Like I just love looking at all the pieces. I feel like the lighting's terrible in here. Or if you are getting married and you want a big fat diamond, bring your husband here. Just trying on some of the watches. This is the Happy Sport and look how stunning it is. It's rose gold and ooh, stainless steel. And as you can see, the diamonds just kind of float around on the watch face. It's so beautiful. So I've got all the Happy Hearts bangles on my wrist. We've just completely stacked them all and I'm obsessed with these. Um, yeah, my favorite two are the black one, I think, and then this one with all of the diamonds. And is it Mother of Pearl as well? Yeah, they look really nice stacked. I'm obsessed, they're so nice. So they also have the rings as well, which are also super pretty. So here are the two bags that I've got my eye on. Um, this is like a smooth skin with the brushed hardware. It's got a bit of more of a chunky chain. Um, and the strap is adjustable. And then there's this one, which is caviar, champagne gold, and um, it's got like these little pockets with a top handle. And out the two, I'm leaning far more towards this one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna get the white one. Um, the white one, they're both white. Um, the top handle one. And I just, I'm sitting here. I think they're packaging it up at the moment. And I've got major, major guilt. I always feel so guilty about spending money. And it feels a bit impulsive because even though I've wanted it for so long, I'm like, I'm doing it sooner than I wanted to because of the price increase, which is on like, which is in two days away or something. So it feels impulsive even though it's not, which is just making me feel so guilty. Um, but everyone on Instagram is telling me to do it. I'm home and my babies are here. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Hello, did you miss me? Oh guys, did you miss me? Oh, I missed you so much. 
Yes! Oh. Say hello to everyone. Hello guys. Oh my angels. My little angels. Some little babies are just eating their lunch and they've got a very delicious meal of pellets. I also popped into M&S on the way home for my lunch and also Colin caterpillars. I haven't had these in years and I saw them and their little faces and I couldn't resist. Hello guys and good morning. The last time I spoke to you I was in Chanel and I did actually end up getting something so I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing later on today but first I thought I'd film a little bit of a get ready with me because I have been very lucky and received lots of new like makeup PR bits and there's so many kind of new things that I've been trying or things that I want to try so it's a bit of like a first impressions um showing you guys some new products because I know that normally I do just use the same products over and over again. Okay, so to prime, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is more of a moisturiser than it is a primer, but I just love how good it makes your skin feel. Honestly, it makes it feel insane. And it's just like, I just think good skin is the key to like a good foundation base. And then for foundation, I'm going to use a new addition to my makeup collection, which is the iconic London Radiance Booster. And it's going to either be used on its own as like a foundation or underneath foundation. It's like a very sheer, almost like a tinted moisturiser. And I've used this about three or four times now, and I really like it. It's so good for summer. The only thing I would say is, it gets very shiny so you do have to like take powder out of you if you wear it out i wear the shade honey glow and as you can see it's very dark but because it is so sheer you can blend it all and it ends up being fine i'm just gonna zoom you guys in a tad so i was out really late last night i don't know what's happened to me recently guys i'm normally such a home bird like socializing i'll do it once a week and then i'm exhausted for like three days afterwards but i've been a bit of a social butterfly and i went out last night with some girls some girls my girlfriends but one of the girls has been in the states for the last year and she just got back so it was amazing to see her and catch up so we had some dinner at Ells tree elsie tree i can't really remember how you say it but um, it's a greek restaurant in fitzrovia and then we went to a bar in chinatown which was lovely but yeah i got back quite late so i have to say i am a little bit hungover today and i also did come in and fake tan so i did it drunk and it's not the best, I have to say. I used, what did I use? I used the Bondi Sands, um, like their pure range. And I absolutely love it, don't get me wrong. It was my fault for applying it drunk and not doing the best job. Anyway, as you can see, it's the most beautiful, natural finish. Very sheer, very like, just like healthy and glowy. And I'm just using a Bare Minerals brush to blend that all in. And then for eyebrows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm actually going in to see Shaz tomorrow to get my eyebrows done because, yeah, my microblading has faded. I've well, maybe like two, three years ago now, so now I just get them hennaed. And the henna lasts about three weeks or something. Um, but yeah, I definitely need a top up. So I'm not going to mix that up with my concealer today. I'm going to go for the best, which is the Bare Minerals. I know I've said it a million times, this is the best concealer. It's so high coverage, you just need two tiny dots, so a bottle will last you, I don't know how long, but I've literally not even scratched the surface of this. And I use it every single day. And then the brush I'm gonna use is the Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush. And just buff that in. Get rid of those dark circles from all the alcohol last night. Like, look how much it just brightens your under eye. I absolutely love it. And then anything that's left on the brush, I just go over my eyelids because I do get quite a lot of veins up there. Bronzer, I'm going to use the Nude Sticks Nudes bronzer. Um, it says it's an all over face colour. And then you just have the little top like that. And I either put it directly on my skin, just like so. And then just buff it in with a, what is this, Bare Minerals Blooming Brush. This brush is blooming lovely. Or you can also kind of just go like that on the product and then pat it into the skin and that also works really really well i love using bronzer as a bit of a blush as well for blush i'm going to use a new favorite which is the hourglass blush this is insane I just apply it kind of like right at the tops of my cheekbones like so and then just press it in with the same brush and it just i feel like it almost filters your skin slightly as well it makes it look just like um like one of these really nice instagram filters and then i've just got my physician's formula bronzer and i'm going to pop that 
in my crease. These are my two favourite mascaras. So this is the Marc Jacobs at Lashed and I've used this probably in every single video on YouTube. It's the start of last year and then this one is a new one. This is the Honest Beauty one. So I'll use this one on camera with you guys today. But there's like a primer side. So you pop the primer on first and then you just have the wand on the other side. For powder, I'm gonna use the By Terry Loose Powder. This stuff, oh my goodness. This is so like finely milled. It really makes me kind of like sneeze because it's so fine but it makes your skin like actual glass and it makes it feel really nice. Yeah, it's a hyaluronic hydra powder. So it's um, really, really good for your skin. And I always love it when makeup like doubles up with skincare. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this literally all over because um, it, this does tend to get dewy throughout the day, like I said. And then for lips, I'm gonna use the classic Rimmel Liner in Tiramisu that I always wear. And then for lipstick, another new one. This one is from Code 8 Beauty. They did a collaboration with Lydia Millard and it is exclusive to Harrods. This is the most stunning color. I am obsessed. It's like a very pink, kind of nudey coral. It's also very hydrating as well. Like it doesn't feel like a drying lipstick. It's almost got like a bit of a sheen to it. And I am obsessed. So yeah, this is the finished look. And throughout the day, you'll see my face will get more and more glowy. But it's just like a really easy summer look. And it's so fun trying out new products. So I'm going to link everything down below as always. So as promised, I'm going to do a Chanel unboxing with you guys. This is the bag that I purchased earlier on in the vlog. And I just want to do a really quick disclaimer as well. I did not walk into Chanel and just buy a bag on a whim. Um, I thought about this bag for a long time. I've really wanted a little white Chanel. I always say if you can't buy it twice, then you can't afford it so i don't want you guys to ever look at my videos and think oh kate has a chanel like i really want a chanel don't ever live beyond your means and you know i like buying chanels but they're not the be all and end all like they don't like make me happy um i love them and i like to look at them and i like to use them but they don't bring happiness but yeah i just wanted to put that little disclaimer in just in case anyone thought i was just going nuts and just buying a bag on the whim so i have actually already unboxed it which is why it hasn't got like the pretty chanel bow and stuff um i did a little unboxing on my instagram so yeah i just have to pretend that this is the first time i'm opening it um it comes in this lovely box which is all beautifully wrapped in tissue paper and then it comes in this dust bag which unlike the classic flaps is just like a plain black kind of cottony material and um, the classic flaps come in this beautiful Karl Lagerfeld like kind of suede pouch and this one doesn't oh my god guys I cannot wait to show you I am in love with this bag oh my god I just think she is stunning so the name of this one is the small flat bag with a top handle and I just I just can't. So this is the Caviar Leather, and both my other Chanel's are smooth. They're the lambskin, but I really felt like I wanted the Caviar in the white. There's something about it that I really, really like, and I just think it looks slightly more expensive as well. And it's definitely, I mean, it's a white bag, so I'm gonna be really careful with it anyway, but just having one less thing to worry about with the smooth leather um, definitely makes a difference. And then it's got the champagne gold hardware as well, which I love. I haven't got any bags which are champagne gold. Um, and it makes it super versatile as well because it means you can really make, mix and match it with different tones of jewellery. So it can either be gold or silver and it's going to match. I love, love, love the top handle. I just think it's so cute. And again, it makes it more versatile. It means you can use it for more things and um, wear it in two different ways. And then this is what the strap looks like. It's actually got a leather top, which... Is a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because I just think it looks quite cool. Bad thing because if I ever have any fake tan on my shoulder, it will go onto this. So I've got to be super careful. And then it's got the classic pocket at the back like all Chanel's do. And then on the inside, we have this really cute little pocket at the um, at the front, which I like. And I like the way it kind of peeps out. And then the inside is actually very roomy for a small bag. You've got a couple pockets in there. And yeah, you could definitely fit like sunglasses, hairbrush, like all your bits and bobs quite nicely it also does have these little poppers which um you can like pop together if you want it to be a bit smaller and more compact the only thing is they do they're not super strong these poppers and i'm slightly wondering if it's a bit of a design fault or if it's this bag specifically so i might actually pop back into chanel and just double check that because i don't know i just don't feel like they're very strong 
um like sometimes it can like pop undone and yeah this is actually my first ever chanel bag bought like in store my two other chanel bags i've got one down there and the other one's in my room those are both pre-loved one of them is vintage and yeah the other one's just pre-loved and the reason i normally go for pre-loved is because one it's cheaper like a good bit cheaper for the same and two i actually just really like enjoy the feeling of um giving a bag a second life and like um i don't know it just has a bit more of a story to it, i guess so I did actually really try hard to source this bag or something similar at least online but honestly they are like gold dust and a lot of the time they are actually selling for more than it is in store so on this particular occasion it actually just didn't make sense to get it second hand um, so yeah this is my first ever new Chanel bag and I have to say with my other two Chanel's I never felt guilty about buying them this i actually i felt so guilty for the whole day i felt really bad and i don't know if it's because like one i paid full price and two it wasn't it wasn't rushed i knew how much i wanted this bag and i knew that i wanted it for a long time but i probably would have like kept on thinking about it until like i don't know maybe occasion came up but because of the price increase i was kind of like okay okay like if you're going to get it you might as well just get it today so yeah the guilt was real but i don't feel guilty anymore i've been looking at it for like the last day and a half and i'm just obsessed I imagine this is some cute summer dresses in fact what i'm wearing today um i've got like an all nude outfit on this will just pop like so well against a nude outfit but yeah if any of you guys own white chanel's um let me know how it is and if you have any tips for keeping care of them if you have any sort of protection because yeah i think i need it i am slightly scared to use it at the moment i'm very happy to add this little one to my bag collection she is a lovely little addition whilst i'm here i've also done a little white company order so i thought i'd show you guys what i picked up oh my god my friend's having a baby so i picked up the little one something i also picked up a seychelles diffuser for myself it's one of my favorite smells the white company do in the summer it's just so beautiful and fresh it's bergamot amber and vanilla um i also got a candle for the baby mama which is in the same smell so that's just wrapped up in here i can just tell this is going to be so cute already oh no i don't want to open it um see if i can kind of show you guys oh yeah look it's like a little lamb baby grow and a little lamb like kind of I don't know what this is like a mini blanket and it's just so cute i don't know the gender so i thought this was pretty gender neutral i can't wait till all my friends start having kids i'm gonna be the best auntie um the bunnies oh my god they love a box do you guys love boxes don't you honey yes good morning guys i feel like i look really different with my cap on um i don't normally wear one but i am um, out and about today having a bit of an errands running day i need to go to the pet shop get the bunnies some more hay i need to um send off these two um packages i just popped um lots of like giveaway bits in here i did a little mini giveaway on my stories so i need to send this off and i've got another one here that i need to send off so i just need to get some tape and everything and package them up nicely and then i need to get my eyebrows done i'm gonna get them hennaed at sapphire and the lovely owner of sapphire it's actually her who's having the baby so i'm gonna go give her the gift as well while i get my eyebrows done okay so i'm at sapphire now i'm gonna do my brows so first up we're gonna do the henna um there's a little bit of regrowth as you can see here and this is my brows with no product on at all so um yeah serena's gonna make them all lovely again okay so i've just done the threading it's never actually that painful um i used to find it really bad but now it's absolutely fine my eyes are even water um so all nice and neat and now we're gonna do the henna Hey guys it's actually been a few days since i last vlogged because on friday when i got my eyebrows done i got home and i was just randomly incredibly sick like really nauseous vomiting sick it was not nice at all and you know when you feel so awful like you're almost paralyzed um so yeah i was sick lots and then i felt better but i haven't vlogged since so i'm gonna end this vlog here oh and quickly as well i mean it has been about four days since i have had my eyebrows done zoom you guys in yeah they're definitely not as fresh anymore but i have zero product on them and i've obviously like washed my face like loads since um having them done on friday and um this is what they look like and they tend to last maybe like i don't know two weeks or something and it's just the best thing ever like second best to microblading i'd say i actually really want shaz to do my microblading but she's literally about to have a baby she's about to pop so i'm gonna wait until she's like had her mat leave and everything like that 
Um, I zoom you guys out again. It's very close. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here because I haven't got a lot more to show you guys, to be honest. Um, but I hope you enjoyed these couple of days of me. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.